but yeah, it's called Guts. Um, I I don't really like this episode actually. I think it's dumb. I don't like it. I mean, yeah, it shows you some cool things and it introduces you introduces you to most of the, or all the cast. I'm pretty sure all the cast for season one. You know, filler. There's some fillers in there, but mainly all uh, cast members. You meet Dale. You meet, uh, well, you already met Dale, but you meet him a little bit more. You get to talk, you know. You get, and this time you get to meet, um, uh, T-Dog, Jackie, um, the Spanish guy, Mexican guy. I can't remember his name. I just watched the episode. Oh, wow. He's not really a main character. He leaves. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. Who else? Oh, um, get to meet um, Glenn, who saves Rick from the tank. Uh, I said Andrea. Uh, who else is there? Uh, Merle. You get to meet Merle. And this is where the reference Merle's on the roof, and, he, and Rick handcuffs him to the roof, and Merle says, Who are you, man? And Rick's like, I'm Officer Friendly. Like, sometimes Rick has the whole Batman complex, I think. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, does anybody else think that sometimes Rick has the Batman complex? But he's like, I'm Officer Friendly. So, and that comes in later in Season 3. Uh, Merle refers to Rick as Officer Friendly a couple times in Season 3. It's kind of a funny, uh, you know, drawback to Season 1. Uh, to the people that really, you know, pay attention to that. Um... Yeah, I thought, it, I, I th like I said, I thought this episode was pretty boring. Kind of shows Shane being a dad to Carl, um, which he is a dad to Carl, because um, Carl thinks his dad's dead, and uh, Carl really looks up to Shane, and you'll see that more and more as the season goes on, and in season two you get to see that more. But um, what else happened? Like, Oh, and they figured out that if you put zombie blood and guts on you, that you smell dead, and that they won't bother you. Um, they did this. They figured that out. Um, but then it rained, and the zombies ran after them. Uh, they were trapped downtown in a compartment building. Department building, sorry. Um, and so they had to get out, and so that was one of their ideas to do that. So, yeah, like I said, this episode was, like I said, let, let me know what you think, but... I think this video, this episode's kind of bleh. Um, it doesn't really have much of action. It has a little bit. Um, the cool part is when they're taking apart the body and they chop it up and rub the blood all over them. That was cool. Called guts for a reason because they do spread the guts all over the bodies, like all over the bodies. So of Glenn and Rick to get to a truck. So oh, and then Merle gets locked on the roof. T Dog drops the key. And Merle gets left on the roof. So that's kind of be going to be the dilemma for the next episode and different things. So hopefully I'll have time to do that one tomorrow. So kind of want to get through these before the season before season four, uh, five starts, but maybe not. Who knows? But just kind of give my uh, take on it. I'm not going to go scene by scene like I did last episode. That's just too long, and I can't remember everything anyway. But I'm just trying to hit some of the key points of the show. Any, if you um, agree with what I'm saying, if you don't, let me know. Write in the comments. Um, like and subscribe. And uh, check out my other videos, too, if you want to see some uh, cool older games or cool, cool older toys that I get. Um, so, yeah. Check, check it out. And I will talk to you later, Walking Dead fans. Can't wait for October to get here. That's right.